Install the controller onto the one quarter screw hole without tightening. Pull out the shell and open the battery compartment. Battery installation instructions are printed in the battery compartment. Install the battery according to the schematic diagram. Close the battery compartment and complete the battery installation. Remove the controller in the end. Open the battery compartment, find the battery push out hole. Push out the battery with a small hexagonal wrench. Insert the battery into the motor battery compartment. The motor will turn on automatically when it is powered on. Check whether the tail of the battery is completely submerged in the battery compartment. Ensure that the battery fully enters the battery compartment to avoid loosening and power failure. Press the battery first in the direction of the arrow, pull it out to remove the battery. If the hand is slippery, it is difficult to remove the battery. You can use the matching battery sticker. Increases surface friction to assist in battery removal. The front of the large handwheel device is the controller mounting slot. The one quarter screw hole in the slot is used to install the controller. There are seven and a quarter screw holes on the back of the large handwheel device. It is used to expand the mounting handle or at other equipment. Install the handle connector with two one quarter screws and then insert the handle to complete the installation of remote air rig. First, insert the controller into the installation slot, and be sure to insert it to the bottom, and then rotate clockwise. The screw is entered the screw hole of the controller, you can quickly rotate the big hand wheel clockwise. After reaching the limit, tighten the controller firmly, and fixation, when the big hand wheel is forcibly rotated, and the controller is no longer rotated, the installation is completed. Rotate the big hand wheel counterclockwise, until you hear the and then pull out the controller. Install pipe clamp and 15mm conduit. Install the controller. Install the motor. It must be ensured that the gears are fully engaged. Open the battery compartment of the controller and put in the battery according to the instructions. Close the battery compartment. Insert the motor battery to turn on the motor. Long press the controller button to turn on the controller. When they turned on at the same time, they will be paired automatically. The pairing is successful when the indicator is always on. Long press the motor button to automatically calibrate the lens. Release the button when the motor starts to rotate. When the motor stops rotating, it can start to control. If a not hard stop lens is used, the function of manually calibrating the lens can be used to set the effective focusing stroke of the lens. First, install the motor battery to turn on the motor, and then turn the lens to the starting point, like infinity. Turn the lens to the other point, like minimum focus distance. Finally, turn a little to the middle, complete the lens calibration. Check whether the controller limit corresponds to the lens limit. Short press the time, then long press for 3 seconds of the controller button, automatically calibrate the lens. After the motor stops rotating, it can be controlled. You can also press and hold the motor button for 3 seconds, automatically calibrate the lens. After the motor stops rotating, it can be controlled. Short press the controller button 7 times to switch the rotation direction of the motor. It can be controlled after the motor switches direction. You can also short press the motor button 7 times to switch the rotation direction of the motor. It can be controlled after the motor switches direction.
When the motor has a calibrated stroke, short press the motor button four times, cleared calibrated lens travel, When the motor has a calibrated stroke, power off and replace the battery. If the motor mounting position does not change, after the controller and motor are recapted, short press the motor button four times, restore the stroke calibrated before power failure. After the motor is calibrated the lens travel, we can set a B point limit for this lens travel. First, turn to the starting point you want to set, such as 0.6 meters. Short press the controller button to set point A. Then turn to the desired end position, such as 1.2 meters. Short press the controller button again to set point B. At this time, the motor travel will be limited between point A and point B. The color of the indicator light will flash alternately, in the current power color in blue. Short press the controller button for the third time, and wait for 5 seconds. It will start the automatic operation of point A to point B cycle. Rotate to the clockwise limit for the slowest speed. Rotate to the counterclockwise limit for the fastest speed. The speed of automatic operation, increases or decreases linearly, according to the rotation angle of the hand wheel. Short press the controller button for the fourth time. Cancel automatic operation in a B point limit. The controller is currently in focus mode. Short press the controller button for 4 times, and then long press for 3 seconds at the 5th. Switch to zoom mode. The rotation angle of the controller is 300 degrees, the middle 10 degrees is the static area. The motor go ahead, when turned to the right of the static area. The motor go backward, when turned to the left of the static area. The speed of propulsion increases or decreases, linearly according to the rotation angle. The static area can be marked on the large handwheel unit. This makes it easier to adjust the direction and speed of zoom. Turn off the successfully paired controller first. Then in the power on state of the new controller. Short press the controller button for 3 times, and long press for 3 seconds at the 4th. Repair the Bluetooth of the controller and motor, the indicator lights that are normally on. It means the pairing is successful. The indicator lights are flashing fast. Represents searching for Bluetooth. The indicator lights that are normally on. It means that Bluetooth has been connected successfully. The color of the indicator light of the controller and motor. Display their current battery power respectively. Charge when the controller is off. The indicator light is red. Charge when the controller is powered on. The indicator light is purple. When the indicator light of motor battery charger is red, represents charging. When the indicator turns green, represents the completion of charging. Open the Apple Store. Search for PD Movie or Remote Air. Download the Remote Air app. Log into the official website of PD Movie. Enter the technical support interface. Enter the download page. Click the app icon to download and install the app. Open the Bluetooth and startup software of the mobile phone. Click to enter the connection interface. Insert the motor battery to turn on the motor. When the motor is turned on, the Bluetooth option of the motor will be displayed on the connection interface. Expand the Bluetooth option. Click and enter any text to rename the motor. Then click connect. If the motor indicator is always on, the connection is successful. The same is true for connecting multiple motors. Just repeat the steps just now. After connection, enter the main control interface.
Long press the auto box to automatically calibrate the lens. Also be calibrated automatically or manually through the motor button. After the motor calibration is completed, click the minus sign in the subject box, select the motor controlled by this control bar, and then slide the navigation bar for control. Slide to the start and end point of the limit you want. Click box A and box B respectively. Setting the AB point limit. Click the time box in the zoom control bar. Set the time for automatic operation. The time range can be set from 2 seconds to 9999 seconds. Double click the time box to set the direction of automatic operation. Long press the time box to start the automatic operation. The running time can be changed at will during automatic operation. Slide any control bar to stop automatic operation. If you want to learn more about LiveAir2S, follow us on Instagram and Facebook or log in our website.